Namaste and in this video we will explore how to draw flow curve. A flow curve is drawn between number of blows as well as water content on a semi lag graph when we conduct a liquid limit test using Casa Grande's liquid limit apparatus. Uh, usually when you draw the flow curve, it is a straight line sloping down. The liquid limit is that water content corresponding to 25 blows. That is one thing. Another thing is flow index, which is nothing but the slope of flow curve. So now let us understand how we can draw flow curve using Microsoft Excel. So this is Excel. I've taken a standard example from a textbook. Here you can see the number of blues on x-axis. This is water content or moisture content. Select them both. Go to the insert, go to the charts and choose xy plotter. Now try to name the graph at the axis. First, let us change the title of the graph to flow curve. And x-axis is number of lows in value. Y axis is water content. W expressed in terms of percentage. Well, but this axis is logarithmic scale of base 10. So let us select and try to change it into logarithmic axis, semi-logram. So select format axis. You have a checkbox here, logarithmic scale, and here it is base 10. You can also use natural log here. So now you can see this starting point is 10 to the power of 0, which is 1, 10 to the power of 1, and 10 to the power of 2. Now, while drawing trend line, you should clearly understand the Excel behavior. If you select this and right click from the context menu, if you select add trend line, actually when it is linear, it is showing a slightly uh, curved line. So don't because we are supposed to draw the linear, that is straight line. But when you choose the linear option, it is a curved line. Why? Because it is on a logarithmic scale. So you have to be careful and choose a logarithmic, which is a straight line. This is one important option. And the corresponding equation also, the advantage with the Excel is you can very easily display the equation. Right. If you want, you can change the axis, you know, which will look like typical uh, logarithmic uh, semi-log graph. Now, um, this is how you have to draw the flow curve. Now, importantly, how we have to find out the liquid limit as a told you previously, liquid limit is that water content which, correspond, which corresponds to 25 blows. You can find out liquid limit using two methods. So method one, there is a function in Excel called trends. Let's explore this trend. Known wise comma known x 
and nu x and the constant. These are the input values. So prior to that, let us understand uh, where you will get uh, liquid limit. It is in this particular range. That is 25 is falling between these two. So you will get a, a liquid limit somewhere between 47 to 64. Okay, why? Because liquid limit is that water content which is corresponding to 25 flows. So now let us use the trend. Trend. What are known wise? Known wise are known water contents, comma, known x is nothing but 8, comma, 30, and nu x, that is at 25 blows, comma, constant, you put calculated manually, which is also default value, enter, so 50. So 50.86. Method two is directly you can make use of this particular equation because while using this equation, be a little bit careful. Here, if you look at the equation, let me magnify this equation a little bit. So if you look at this equation, this is having logarithmic function, but this logarithm is natural logarithm or an inferior logarithm. Actually, we have drawn for a common logarithm, that is to the base 10. So while calculating um, liquid limit directly by substituting 25 blows, you should be very careful because if you merely substitute 25 and calculate, you will be uh, calculating wrongly. So let's see how we can make use of this equation in order to find out liquid limit. So is equal to minus 12.12 star log, you have a function called log number that is 25 blows corresponding to 25 blows. Base. Base is either E, E is 2.7 and odd, or it could be 10. If 10, if the base is 10, we call it as a common logarithm. If the base is E, we call it as na uh, natural logarithm. So that E value, you can get it by another function called EXP. So AEXP to the power of one. So one, close this bracket, enter. Oh no, we have not completed the equation. Plus 89.26. So this also you are getting nearly the same value. So this is another method of finding uh, liquid limit. And coming to the flow index, which is nothing but slope of this particular equation. But be careful, slope of um, uh, equation when the function is log to the base 10, that is common logarithm. But here we are in the, this equation which Excel is displaying is in the form of natural logarithm. So that's why you should multiply with a factor called 2.303. What is this factor? It is nothing but log uh, 10 to the base E, that is EXP. One. So 2.303. So this you have to multiply. So let us find out flow index that is the slope is minus 
sloping down it is minus you can put minus or you can remove minus no problem 12 point minus will tell you that it is sloping down so 12.12 multiplied by 2.303 or you can also calculate it logarithm of base 10 i mean logarithm of 10 when base is e that is exp1 that's all. So you're getting some nearly 28. So that's all. This is how you can uh, calculate the uh, values using, I mean, uh, liquid limit as well as uh, uh, flow index using uh, the flow curve. And flow curve you can uh, draw in Excel very easily, but only precaution is while selecting the trend line. So please select a logarithm as a trend line instead of uh, linear. That's the only precaution. That's all. And uh, thanks for watching my video.